Hey guys, it's Michael. I have a quick update for you on the second stimulus check and second stimulus package. In today's video, we're first going to go over how while Democrats and the White House are close to reaching a second stimulus agreement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi came out earlier today and said that it could take a lot longer to write and vote on the actual bill, even if they agree on the language right now. After that, we're going to go over how Senator Marco Rubio told CNBC on Thursday morning on Squawk Box that he would be willing to support a more expensive second stimulus package than he'd actually like to because failing to provide financial relief to Americans and U.S. businesses presents a much larger risk to the U.S economy. And finally, at the end of the video, we're going to go over a warning from lawmakers of what would happen if we don't have a second stimulus package pass soon. How more businesses are going to go out of business, people are going to lose their jobs, and things are going to get a lot worse. We're going to go over all of this and more, but before we get started, it would really mean a lot if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to do so, and it currently says about 50% of you watching are not subscribed. So if you'd like to stay up to date on the second stimulus check, second stimulus package, as well as other news updates, well then please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $20 when you download the M1 finance app as well. So while Democrats and the White House are close to reaching a second stimulus agreement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said earlier today on Thursday that it could take a lot longer to write and vote on the actual bill. The California Democrat is planning to speak to Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin today on Thursday as they try to craft a new stimulus bill and agree on the last few items. While the speaker said that the sides are just about there on reaching a deal now, she cautioned that passing it into a law will take some time as she and the Trump administration try to iron out remaining issues. She goes on to explain that if they can resolve some of these things in the next few days by the end of this week, It'll take a while to write the bill. She said that sides still have not come to a consensus on several major aspects of the bill that have divided negotiators during the last few months of on again and off again negotiations. These issues include aid to state and local governments, liability protections for businesses, and funding for the U.S. Census and election systems. Ultimately, though, right now, Nancy Pelosi said that failure to reach an agreement has made it all but impossible for lawmakers to get a stimulus bill passed before the November 3rd election. But good news is, is that she said ultimately both sides want to reach an agreement during what she called a serious attempt to provide aid. And she said that we can do something great and she's still optimistic that we can get a bill passed. Just it's probably not going to happen before the election. Moving on, Senator Marco Rubio told CNBC on Thursday that he would be willing to support a more expensive second stimulus bill than he'd like to because failing to provide financial relief to Americans and U.S. businesses presents larger risk to the U.S. economy than not passing one. Rubio said on CNBC's Squawk Box this morning on Thursday that no one is going to get everything they want here. Republicans and Democrats are going to have to make compromises. And from his perspective, that means that the bill is probably going to have to be higher than most Republicans want. And he said he's ultimately very uncomfortable with that. However, he did say that he thinks the price of not doing something is even higher. So ultimately, he said the good news is, is that as long as the bill is limited in some way, as long as it's not absolutely crazy, yes, he's willing to be flexible and come up to a higher price tag because he thinks that it's important a bill passes. Rubio explained that while he said he would not be happy about a $1.8 trillion package to a $2.2 trillion package either, he's willing to vote for things he's not in favor of in order to get more stimulus to the people. And finally, top lawmakers warned of what would happen if we don't have a second stimulus package passed soon. In an interview this morning, top lawmakers expressed concern about small businesses that are struggling to keep their doors open and Americans who are facing challenges around housing right now since stimulus has not been passed in months. They warned that we haven't seen the worst yet for many cities and counties in the U.S. as they face budget gaps from declining tax revenues. They think we will run the risk here of structural damage to components of our economy if we don't do something and get a bill passed within the next couple of weeks. And lastly, they did say, however, that they have more optimism that we're going to get a second stimulus bill passed. They don't know if it'll be before the election, just simply because of how soon it is and the time constraints they face. But ultimately, they think something will 
pass. So anyways, that's just a quick update on what's going on with Senator Marco Rubio, what he said about the second stimulus package, as well as what Nancy Pelosi said as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks that I had up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.